What's going on, YouTube? Back with another video. Uh, we're currently um, about to pull up to the auction, the door only auction. I uh, won a couple cars this week uh, for two different auctions, though. So I'm about to go grab the vehicle I want here, and then we might go to the other auction today as well. Uh, neither title was in for these vehicles. But I'm just still about to go pay for at least one of them to give me um, something to do. So that's about what I'm about to go do now. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn your post notification bell on, man, so you can get these notifications uh, every time I upload. But with no further ado, man, I'm about to run in here and pay for this car. Get back to you on the second. All right, y'all. We're in the 2008. Pontiac G6. I'm gonna give y'all the first test drive first. Then I'm gonna show you guys the outside. 2008 Pontiac G6. 183,000 miles. Let's see if this transit. Oh shit, yeah. Might be long oil. Okay, we're good on the trans. I ain't even gonna drive this so far. Uh, we're good on that. So I'm gonna check the oil. Like I said, a little oil. So I'm gonna check the oil. I just wanna help and give you guys a video of it. Then we're gonna pull back up to the auction. We're gonna show you guys the car. Trans shifting good. It's a glare. I had to slow down. I like this corner up here. So far, it's not too bad. Got the check engine light on. It's for a Cadillac converter. So we're gonna, I'm gonna probably clear that. Cause I think the systems was good. It was just the Cadillac converter code. So we're gonna clear that code and test drive it and do the um, the missions on it. But yeah, this is it guys. Let's see why this oil light on. I don't think I checked the oil, but most likely that's probably what it is. Probably going on oil. We're about to see. Pull back up to this, to the auction. Let's see, let's see if we give a little gas or something. I need the switch for this one as well. As you see, blinker switch is broke. So, but other than that, it seems straight. Gonna check the oil in it and go from there. Park it right here. Show you guys the outside real fast. Uh, throw the window down. What the hell? These windows was working. Uh, people been playing with the car, man. The windows was working, man. Look, this is it, man. Two thousand and seven. Sorry for the wind noise. Two thousand and seven Pontiac G six. It's real clean. It's in the windows. Looks pretty well. We're pretty good, Pam, California. That's about it. Hey, let me see. Oh, the windows only work when the door is shut. 
That's crazy. That's funny. My son, no, the windows are working. We got a sunroof and oil light just went off. We got a sunroof that works. Ooh, that sun bright as hell. Shut that back. Hey. All right. The air does work. It's clean on the inside. Hey, I, um, let me see. See what I got to do to this one. Uh, a quick vacuum. We're going to do a quick vacuum and shine the plastic up because that's all I need. Seats is clean. And we're going to have to wash the outside. That's it. Other than that, I don't see too much else we got to do to this one. I'm about to check the oil. That's it. Motor sound good. That's about it, man. I'm about to go buy some license plate screws so I can throw this temp tag on it. We got a um, we got a temp tag. I got to throw on it. So I'm about to go buy some screws, throw the temp tag on it. I'm going to ride this for a minute today. But I'll come back to you guys in a second. All right, guys. Back in the G6. The oil light is on, but... The motor not knocking or anything. Um, it's probably most likely going to be a sensor. I could double check it and see, but I'm not getting any um, knocking out the motor or anything like that. The oil is circulating because the oil is shooting up on the dipsticks. I did check that. So, but it goes off and comes on. So we'll figure out what that is. But other than that, it's running and driving decent. We're on the road driving. I left I left the truck at the auction and just jumped in this. But it's riding. It's riding, people. I don't like the way it's riding. It's riding better than the other G6 I just had. So like I was saying, it's, this one is definitely riding better than the other G6 I just sold. So I'm happy with this one. Other than that light, I might figure out what that light is. But this one has the sunroof in it. So this one does this one does have tinted windows, sunroof, aluminum rims, and it's right away better than the other one. Um, it's cleaner than the other one as well too. It's not as dirty as the other one was. So and it has less miles. <laughs> than the other one did. So right now, I should have kept my scanner plugged up to it because we did clear the check engine light that we had um, trying to get it to pass the mission. So I'm going to have to hook my scanner back up to it so I can see where we at. So as soon as it's ready, I'm going to just shoot right to emissions and get it done. But all right, guys, I'll come back to you guys in a minute once I'm done um, driving. What's up, guys? I gotta stop doing stuff off camera, man, so y'all can see. Um, I literally just switched this. Turn signal switch out. It was broken. As y'all see, this thing is dusty. All this basically pull this cover up. I can show y'all real quick. This is G6. So, and it's for the Malibu. So pull the cover up, push down on that tab through there. First, you wanna unplug these like this. Just push the tab in. I mean, and I'll plug it like that. And then the other one, it's a different type of tab, but same type of method. Uh, and then what I usually do is instead of taking the bottom bolt out, I just usually just pull this down and it exposes the second clip you push in. So you push that clip in, pull out on the sensor, and shit, there you go. That motherfucker comes out. And the new one. It just basically snaps in and you plug the two sensors back up. But next time I do it, I'm going to uh, show you guys. So basically, the second sensor is just this middle piece. I heard you pull it to you and pull the sensor out. But this one, you push the tab in on the sensor plug and you pull it out. And then this is the pin I was talking about. So you push 
down on it push down on that and it pulls right out easy no problem but, all right guys man I'm, uh, I'm about to get this oil i went and bought a oil pressure sensor so i'm about to uh, have our mechanic uh, put this on have our mechanic put it on and go from there but y'all see man this is my work kit got my jump box charger my phone Got my scanner, I'm trying to get shit done, man. Be back to y'all in a second. All right, guys, just leaving a lot. Uh, sorry about the dirty lens, but just leaving a lot. As you see, no oil light is on. We just got the oil. Let's get out of traffic. We just got the oil pressure switch um, change, and you see that oil light is not coming on. It was coming on when I was accelerating and it currently isn't coming on right now. And like I did show you guys in the previous clip, I did change the blinker switch. So that's a plus. And I currently have the scanner plugged up because I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to get on the expressway to, um, Go, I'm about to head home. I'm, I'm about to get on the expressway to head home. Um, so I got the scanner on so to see if we pass emissions on the way heading home. So if if my scanner lets me know that we all green, I'm gonna be stopping by emissions and um getting the emissions done. But I'm gonna show you guys the car after i get home and um uh, go from there man but i've definitely been busy man um uh, i've been i slowed up on buying the salvage title cars so i've definitely been busy i've been buying nothing but a lot of clean title cars lately so i've been kind of busy but this thing riding good man i can't complain on it um i'm gonna probably if everything keeps checking out right, I'm going to post this one for like 3500 It's an 07 G6, 183,000 miles, runs and drives pretty decent, sunroof work, uh, all the windows work, air works good, radio work, everything on this vehicle works. Even the front fog lights, it has fog lights. Uh, the last G6, even though it was a GT, it didn't have fog lights. Not yeah, it didn't have the fog lights, but this one has the fog lights. Like I said it's not it's not driving bad at all. I do got like a 25 minute expressway um ride home, so that should definitely give us enough time to pass it, you know, to get the systems to be all green if they're going to go green. So that's definitely enough time. So like I said, I'm currently um I'm like 30 seconds from the expressway. So um, I'm going to be jumping on there real soon. Hopefully, I'll come back to you guys and show you guys that we are green on the systems. Because right now we got four systems, four systems that's not ready. I believe we have more than that. I'm not sure. I'm just waiting for it to drop down to one system. And if it's one system that's not ready, um, we're good to go. So, I'm going to just ride this expressway ride home, and um, I'm going to see what we can find. Come back to you guys um, once we get on this expressway and see if we can get all greens. All right, guys. Coming to you guys because the G6 never got ready for emissions. The systems are not passing. I think I found out the reason why. Uh, I believe, um, well, we have a um, vacuum leak, so it's not allowing the car to pass emissions. So um, in the next video, you guys just gotta stay tuned to it, you know, to catch the next video. I'm gonna show you guys this red duck piece they got on this car that I didn't see, and it's causing a vacuum leak. It's put together real nice though. I'm not gonna lie, you know, they put the piece together real nice. 
Uh, I found it funny. I never seen it before. Uh, not with the tools that they used to, you know, fix this little problem. Well, supposedly fix the problem, but you guys will see in the next video and it started right back, man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys in the next video on how it's right. I'm having to go on the freeway and show y'all what it's doing now that it wasn't doing before. So just stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna show you guys everything in the next video, man. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your post notification bells to get the uploads when I upload these videos to get the notification when I upload these videos. Don't forget to smash the um, like button if you're liking these videos. Drop a comment below. Let me know, um, you know, what you guys think about the videos. But with no further ado, man, by the end of this video, don't forget to catch the next video because you guys don't want to miss this uh, MacGyver type um, put together type of stuff, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, catch you in the next one, man.